So we, we also see this a lot. So it's one thing if you like break your leg and you have like this one time occurrence that happens with your injury. But what happens for like these guys that are like lifting heavy things every day and they have a lower back strain or a shoulder strain or something like that um, and or you know it's worn away. What happens when you have a uh, not just a one time occurrence but a long term activity kind of thing? Uh, yeah, so right, so we we see those kind of cases that come in. It, that, that's that's what we would describe as a repetitive uh, repetitive injury where you're doing the same thing over and over, and then finally on the you know the hundredth chop of the axe, your, your back breaks or your arm breaks or whatever. But yeah. uh, they're tougher cases. I mean, we you still have a workers' comp claim. I mean, we're going to have to. Uh, uh, they're a lot harder than like a one-off claim, but. You know, we essentially will have to get, you know, definitely make sure you report it. And then we would investigate the facts of the case. Uh, we may have to depose a doctor or, 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 or two. Uh, but as long as we can get a doctor to relate that to your work injury, uh, you know, we can we can still get, get some type of, type of recovery. Now, the defense, of course, will say, well, it didn't happen on the job. It was because, you know, some pre-existing issue. And, you know, we fight those fights all the time. But if we have to request a hearing, we can request a hearing and let a commissioner decide. It really depends on uh, whether or not we can get a doctor to correlate that and give us some causation. And, uh, I mean, that's what we do, and that's what uh, an experienced workers' compensation lawyer would be able to do for you if you're hurt at work with that issue. When life gets ugly, justice is lovely. The lovely